Let's take a look at something that we don't often um, get into, and that is our preferences area on the main menu. Let's click on the preferences icon, and let's go to the miscellaneous area. What I would like you to do if you're following along with me is to put a check mark where it says move punctuation inside quotes. What this will do for you is if you forget to put punctuation inside the quotes or you have them outside of the quotes, they will move within the quotes in the appropriate um, area. The next thing I want to talk about is enable punctuation. Let's put a check mark here and now let's click on edit punctuation table. This is a great tool if you are having one of those days that we all have had in our careers where people are talking like their pants are on fire. Well, here's how this can help you. I'm going to use, if you will, as an example. What you can see here is my key phrase is, if you will. And the program gives you the opportunity to tell the system how you want this handled if it's at the beginning of the sentence, the middle of the sentence, or the end of the sentence. And this is how I have mine set up. So here's how it would work for you. If you just click Add and type in If You Will. All you need to do now is put a check mark here. It will fill this in for you. And now you can put the appropriate punctuation the way you would like it to, to be. Um, as you are writing. Now, the way this works <clears throat> is if you have this um, already in your personal dictionary, the phrase, if you will, and you write it at the beginning of a sentence, it's going to automatically put a comma after the phrase. If it's in the middle, it'll put commas before and after the phrase. And at the end, in my case, I want a semicolon, if you will. You do not have to worry about spacing before or after the punctuation that you have here or any initial capping that is necessary. If you, you are using your automatic punctuation feature, it will take care of that for you. Now, one of the big questions I get is, if you, the reporter, decide to change the punctuation for whatever reason, um, let's take, is that correct, as an example. Is, I use semicolon, is that correct? But let's assume that you have it in here with the semicolon, but for whatever reason, you stroke a comma, is that correct? The program is going to allow what the reporter does over what you have designated here. So, whatever you write that will um, make a change here is what the program is going to use. So you do not need to worry about that. Give you some examples. You can put however in here, if you will. Is that correct? Is that right? And there are many more. So this will help you if you are having to write like crazy and you're at a point where something has to give. And as we all know, punctuation is one of the first things along with false starts. So this should be very helpful to you. Now, from here, let's take a look at the enable auto briefs. If you put a check mark here and you go into edit auto briefs, <clears throat> what this is, this is Mark Kisslenberry's, as I call it, baby dictionary. Um, he has given ProCap the permission to use his initial dictionary. Uh, to my knowledge, no one has his big dictionary. So if Mark, if you're writing and Mark has a short form or something that may be more helpful, it is going to come up in one of your um, uh, auto brief boxes during real time. It will come up in yellow so that you know it's coming from Mark's suggestions. So this can be very helpful to you if you decide that you like what he uses better than what you're doing. 
Now, you need to tell the system what the maximum outline is that you want to write, and the maximum is five. So I would select that. The minimum stroke I have selected two, because if you're doing a one-stroke word, uh, most often that's a brief form or, you know, something like that. And the minimum repeat, the second time you do it, so I've put one here, one repeat. So the next time that I hear that phrase, uh, it should, if he has a suggestion, give you that suggestion. So these are the numbers that I do suggest. So these are some of the things under the miscellaneous area of prefixes, uh, of preferences, excuse me, on the main menu.